We lose what we gain and gain what we give away. Today's gospel episode gives us this paradox of losing and gaining. Hello sisters and brothers, blessings of joy as we commemorate today the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, Then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Look, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of His glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or fields, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Being rich is not only about material possessions. Whatever a person's heart fastens itself to becomes a personal treasure that could prevent entry into the heavenly kingdom. All of us have these attachments that keep us unfree to surrender our lives fully to God. That is why Jesus responds to Peter's question, who then can be saved, gives us great relief and rekindles our hope. For God, all things are possible. Salvation is not earned by effort but received as a gift. But since it is given in the context of our relationship with God, we must humbly ask to grow in that relationship. Within that relationship, keeping the commandments and renouncing possessions are acts of love, not obligations to be fulfilled. This way, we remain free. Yes, free to belong to God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, free us from our attachments, for they only give us a false sense of security and keep us immature in faith. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. <laughs> 